right now. Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. And you can give us a call tonight on the Bordas and Bordas Hotline at 412-575-2600. On the other side at the 93.7 The Fan Cam, in an amazing jacket, by the way, is 93.7 The Fans. Chris Muller, part of the PM team. Glad to have you on here tonight. Chris, I, I just feel like I, I'm just not as festive as you tonight. I should have wore a green or red jacket or something. I mean, isn't, this is kind of my thing, you know, I have like two real jackets and they're a bunch of nonsense that all looks like this. So the fact that I can actually wear it now and it's mm. somewhat seasonal is good, but I can guarantee you this, come like July, I'll still be wearing this in the middle of summer. I promise you that, Rich. All right. Can't wait to see. Hey, speaking of guarantees, can you guarantee a Steelers win this Monday night? Yeah, because the Bengals are terrible. I mean, they're they're just a horrible, horrible football team right now with no Joe Burrow to at least maybe keep them competitive. They fumbled on their first three possessions against Dallas last week. Dallas is not a good defense. So that kind of tells you where they're at. Uh, I honestly think if the Steelers get to 10 points, they should win this game, right? I mean, that's how bad Cincinnati's offense is. As a matter of fact, they were held under 10 points in each of their last two. So yeah, I can guarantee a Steelers win, I think, pretty comfortably. You know what I can't guarantee? That they're going to cover 13 points or anything like that. I, I kind of have to see it from this offense. You know, Ben Roethlisberger said, Rich, hey, don't panic. We've got time. We've got three weeks to clean this up before the playoffs. I don't think that even against a bad defense, it's necessarily going to be a, a game where they come out humming and look like they've solved their problems. Yeah, Ben basically said, hey, calm down. Uh, Steelers Nation out there. Good news is they're getting Joe Hayden back on defense. Ben Roethlisberger did not practice today. That was just a veteran day off. One thing I'm going to ask you, and I know we talked about this earlier today at 4 o'clock on KDK News, and I'm going to get things started here tonight and hopefully uh, get people asking questions. Uh, one of the big questions I have right now, Chris, is what do you need to see from the Steelers against this Bengals team to uh, make you – you know, grab hold of this team again, make you think that they are a postseason team that can actually do something. What do you need to see them do? Do you need to see them score a lot of points? Do you need to see Ben throw it down the field? Do you need to see a running game? What do you need out of this game? Well, first of all, thanks, because I'm on solo again tomorrow on the PM team, and I might do the unthinkable and throw it open to the callers with exactly this topic. So I'm just going to steal this one right now from you. Yes, uh, definitely. And just pretend that it was my own. <laughs> um, so, I honestly, I, I said this to you earlier today, and I'll say it again and maybe expand on it. I, I think it all, you know, everything else falls away. And all of those other sort of things that you suggested you might be able to see that would hearten you about the Steelers' chances pale in comparison to seeing Ben Roethlisberger zipping the ball down the field with more accuracy, more regularity, and challenging defenses. I want to see him holding on to the ball a little bit longer, too, because those two things are part and parcel. They go together. Uh, so I, I really need to see Roethlisberger's arm look a lot livelier because you can cite problems with the offensive line. You can talk about an utter lack of a running game. You can certainly talk about the league-leading number of drops and Deontay Johnson especially. But for me, all of this stuff, all of these problems absolutely come back to the quarterback throwing the ball a lot and just simply not having the arm strength, it seems, or the arm talent right now this year to do what the Steelers need him to do. That pass that we're seeing right there that Taron Johnson took for a pick six. I mean, how does that? That shouldn't happen. That ball should be zipped to the outside shoulder. The one to James Washington, same thing. I need to see Ben Roethlisberger look like the guy of five years ago as far as throwing the ball. You know, I, I agree with you 100% about Ben Roethlisberger. That's what I'm looking for. I, I've kind of given up on the run game uh, right now for the Steelers. Uh, they're going to have to so win with they. Ben's arm. Yeah, but they're going to have to win. I want to see him throw down the field. I want to see some zip on this arm. He keeps saying that everything's okay. His elbow, elbow feels fine. That's what I want to see out of this game. I also want to see them put up 27 points again. They were averaging, what, 28 the first uh, part of the season, I'd like to see that offense back again. Maybe do some of those sweeps that they were doing with Chase Claypool. Mix it up a little bit. Do something different. We haven't seen any of that uh, the last few weeks. Yeah, there's been very little innovation. You know, when you put it in those terms, it actually kind of drives it home. It's not just that they've passed the ball so much. It's that they've passed in just such a repetitive, predictable manner. 
Uh, I understand that Roethlisberger has a harder time running some of the Jets sweep stuff from a no huddle, but fine. Go no huddle on a handful of possessions here and there. Just plan it out that you're going to do it no matter what. I know you've got to have guys catch the ball to do that. And then have possessions where you get Chase Claypool and other guys in there and you're running pre-snap motion and you're trying to confuse the defense. This idea that they're going to be able to just sit back in the shotgun and he's going to pick people apart is not going to work. Frankly, he's never been that quarterback to the Tom Brady degree where it actually did work. And it goes against everything that they've been all about since he's been their quarterback. No question about that, Chris. we got to take a break. Uh, back with your phone calls, 412-575-2600. I see we have one line open. Give us a call. 